Hey, 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 it's me, Jean Farrell, or Thomas, the worst coder for Simo4D, whatever, back from 3 to skill with another exciting tool for Cinema4D. Yes, <laughs> what this tool does, I show you now. So, first of all, when you want this tool, um, please like me, subscribe me, and write it, write it, write it in the description, uh, in the, into the description that you want this amazing tool. And what is this for a tool? Yeah, it is called the Procedural Street Builder. What it does, I show you now. So, right away in Cinema 4D, I click here. This small item is the Street Builder 2 at the moment. Um, yeah, I click it. Nothing fancy happened. A Street Builder is, is um, created, as you can see, with a big user data interface. And yeah, much, uh, very much parameters, nothing fancy. So the first thing, because it is an object, yeah, an object creator or something generator, we have to feed it with some. Uh, we put a child underneath it. So what we need, of course, is a street path. And I, I draw, drew some uh, a simple street path. This is my street. I drag it beneath, underneath the street builder, and press A to to refresh. And as you can see, the street is reversed because this comes from the drawing with spline. Sometimes the orientation when you draw left, then the orientation is false. So go to the street parameters, and there's a parameter called fix rotation. You simply type in minus 180. So when there are hills in the street, it's not working probably, but yeah. Anyways, so here, in this order, as it is here, you can adjust here the street. First, I would recommend that you first adjust here the pavement width. So maybe you need a pavement on 1 meter 50. Then the cube stone width. This is the cube st curb stone, sorry. Uh, curbstone here maybe um, 50 centimeters and then the street width um, maybe 10 meters something like that and what you else can do is the pavement height so maybe 15 centimeters and uh, let's turn off the physical sky for a moment oh it's dark <laughs> um, what you also can do is here you can um, bevel the curb stone. So just click bevel and the curb stone will be beveled. So you can here bevel and also on the opposite side here, it's also beveled. So yeah, so you can make a little bit subdivision or you make it a little bit bigger like this. Yeah, it's, it's your decision. It's a matter of taste. So, um, okay, this is our street. So I turn off, I turn on, M inclusion is on. So when I hit render, look at this. So the street looks like this at the moment. So you can also throw it into an hypernerbs if you want, but yeah, anyways. Um, but sometimes hypernerbs is not compatible because it's our separate object and yeah, I had to make a decision. I had to make a decision if I want to internally combine the models or not. So yeah. So at the moment, it's it's good enough for this. So okay, we are here now. Okay, and bevel. Okay, these are the street parameters. Now I go to the street materials. You can see here the pavement material, the curbs, the material, and the street material. So I have here two textures. Important is for the street and for the other materials here that the street maybe is uh, shows up, um, goes up, uh, not horizontally. So it should uh, show vertically. So and also for the curbstone and for the for the other uh, material, uh, the, the pavement. You can use any material what you want. This doesn't matter. So. Um, yeah, pavement, this is my, I think this was the pavement, 
I drag it here, the material. I drag the curbstone material inside and the street material inside. And as you can see, it's of course stretched because it's a very long path. So it's stretched. So we have to here, this is the texture tiling. So this is the vertically tiling scale. This is the vertically offset and this is the horizontal scale and offset here, as you know it from materials. So um, maybe I make it three. So, so my street here. Oh, sorry, zero here. I have to make here three, as you can see. And also here, maybe all the others, also three maybe. And it looks like that. And here we can also um, drag the texture maybe like to here, this position and make a little bit bigger maybe. And also here maybe two. So, and when we hit render now, it looks a little bit better. Quick street maker. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, funny things, man. Um, okay. And now we go to the next tab. It's the street lamp. So you can do other objects as well. Uh, feed other objects into this uh, link tab here. But I call it here street lamp so that you know what what I mean. So simply drag, take a, any street lamp from the content browser or whatever, or you model something and drag here the street lamp. So these are, these are the street lamps at the moment. Yeah? This is the, the street lamp. You can see here, I brought it into the scene and now I have to drag it uh, into this first street lamp thing. As you can see, it's also uh, in the wrong direction because we rotated the street. And what you have to do is simply um, rotate it 180 degrees and also 90 degrees so that it shows inside. And here is the position, the X position. You can position it here on the X position here. So look at this, um, position it here. Yeah, so let's so see it a little bit better. Uh, what is this? Oh, street lamp, okay. So, yes, this is the street lamp. Okay, the first street lamp. So, next street lamp. I want on the other side also street lamp, so I simply copy here this, press copy and paste it. So, it's now in the same position here. So we have to make it in all the opposite position and also minus 90. So it faces exact and also maybe increase a little bit the count. And yeah, maybe also 30, 13. So the so but now you can also see here the the original street lamp. So this is bad. So you can see it here. So and the bad thing is when you turn it off here, all street lamps disappear. So what you can do is, uh, what you can do is to bring the street lamp inside of a null object. Yeah. And that, that the null object is the container and then just turn off the null object. So the street lamp disappears, but it is still visible here now. So this is the first step and yes, and the next one has the street lamps. Okay. Count positioning. So maybe also here in the way axis. So set axis is not important. Doesn't work so much. So it doesn't work in this case, but it's just a vector. Yeah. Um, the next thing is the rails. So I have to mention that I that I, um, um, yeah, that I will uh, uh, enhance the, pl uh, the the tool a little bit. I will add two more rails, so for the outside as well. So yeah, and so I have to bring in now a rail. So 
I prepared a rail here. So a rail, what you, what this thing needs is a rail profile. You see it? And I have to mention that this rail pro at the moment, it is so coded that it's just understands rail profiles which are made editable so they don't uh, accept at the moment the street builder don't doesn't accept at the moment um 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 um, um yeah this basic uh, shapes of of splines so so he needs really um editable splines at the moment this rail tab so i created here quickly a a rail so i go into the streamer and drag the rail profile inside and as you can see he creates here this rail in in the mid so <clears throat> also uh, in the next version of this thing i want to bring in two more rails uh, also for rail splines but for the outside as well so what you can do with the rail, you also can here drag it maybe to the side or, or here you can drag it here. So it looks also very cool when here's a rail, here's a rail and you can also add here a rail. So this is the most thing I think what's yeah cool. The downside of course is when you're now using here this uh, thing. So it looks a little bit well, well in this case it, it's, it's working. <laughs> Um, when I have to say when here, when you add, uh, maybe you clone here a lot, have you a lot of, uh, a lot of street lamps clones, maybe like this. So the scene is going to slow down. It, so you see it's a little bit slower because it's a very dense model. So what you can do is you go to street lamps and simply add a um, display tag turn it on and simply switch here to uh, maybe to uh, to box yeah and maybe here to to lines and now the the editor is much faster as you can see you see you still see the the street lamps and so forth so I bring in here now the and the rail into the mid of the street and here the rail position to the mid and also I add give the rail now maybe just a simple material let's load in a metal material I didn't tested it before sorry so textures Oh, let's go in my texture pack here texture pack and metals so let's take this thing I think this looks cool in my opinion so let's take this metal specular metal yeah maybe like this something like that Okay, and give it material, give it uh, the rail material, of course. As you can see, now it's working and because it's, uh, yeah, we have also tiling here. So bring a little small, as you can see now. Let's say four, maybe. And let's reduce here the height a little bit. Oh, maybe like this. And bring a little bit up. Uh, this was so wrong. A little bit up here. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's, it's tidable. So as you can see now, we add it here. And maybe we can also bring the rail a little bit to the top. So. And what I add now here to the rail, so this is why I want to add more rail things here, is now I bring here the column for the rail. So this is simply a cube at the moment. I turn this off or delete this cylinder. So I bring in here now, this is a nested thing. You see it's, it's, in a, it's a null object. You can nest also things. So this works also with par parametric, uh, with, with 
with primitive objects and <clears throat> yeah of course um, Street Builder drag and drop here the rail column column sorry and as you can see you can also put it a little bit down and make it here you can hear the cube smaller and of course um <clears throat> yeah tile it uh, clone it so it is now cloned okay so this is how it looks like let's make it a little bit smaller here maybe like this and give it also here our metal material oh this looks great yeah let's stretch it a little bit maybe like this okay so well the same thing also for the outside so we have uh, three different rails possibilities or we can also make a a simple wall on the outside or an, an, an acoustic wall and a rail in the, in the between that and this is you can also bevel this shit here um, maybe here uh, no this doesn't work it's maybe I built in a bevel no this doesn't work here simply take the the rail and choose all points and say um, camphor so a little bit of campering maybe as you can see so we can also camphor this shit here so when you now turn on this so it's yeah this looks great doesn't it yes and when we hit render of course <laughs> It looks like this <laughs> and we build our street procedural street builder I think a little bit faster than we than we would with uh, with a normal thing and it makes a little of course a little bit of fun and now we can of course populate our scene a little bit let's reduce here a little bit the rail the rail amount here this I uh, know this lamp amount so street lamps my opinion too much street lamps here 19 let's make 35 that's all still too much 25 and yeah i hope you enjoyed it and well like me subscribe me whatever goodbye yeah.